Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and we've been told to simplify without a calculator. Now, of course, what does simplify mean? It just means perform the indicated operation. Well, what's the indicated operation? Here's uh, the operation symbol that I see, and if you don't know this one, this uh, little check mark house known as a radical, uh, when there's no number in here is the square root. When you see no number, sometimes you'll see a number in the check mark. And those are different operations, cube root or fourth root. But when you don't see a number in there, this is a square root. So I'm asking, what is the square root of 144? Now, there's something a little tricky about square roots, namely that square roots have uh, no algorithm. I don't have really a step-by-step -step process for finding the square root. What you're going to want to do instead is use the inverse operation to help you. So what is the inverse of square root? The inverse or opposite of square root is squaring. So when I ask myself, you know, uh, what is the square root of 144, another way to think of that is what number squared equals 144, or what number times itself equals 144. And so because of this thought process that I use to solve for square roots, I really, really, really uh, suggest that all you students memorize at least your perfect squares from 1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1, all the way up to, I would tell my students to go to 15 squared. 15 times 15 is 225. Um, and that is something that I suggest you memorize to make the GED easier. But so if you had them memorized, you would just know right off the bat what number times itself equals 144. You've got this in your head. Lucky you. But what about those of us who don't have it memorized? I would make a decent guess. So let's go ahead and guess 10 and start uh, kind of guessing and checking. So let's see. 10 squared means the same as 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 is, of course, 100. I'm still too little. Uh, 11 squared because I was looking for 144. 11 squared is the same as 11 times 11. If you don't know what 11 times 11 is, you can come over here and multiply it out. And you'll see that it's equal to 121. I'm still too small. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now I'll try 12 squared. 12 times 12. See why I'm asking you to memorize it? Guessing and checking is not a fun math method. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. And I get 2. And I do see that 12 times 12 is 144. So what number times itself equals 144? It's 12. Notice I don't write the square on the answer. I'm going backwards. I'm taking the square root of 144. I'm going back to its roots. What is it made of? It's made of 12s. The final answer is just 12. Okay, great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.